welcome to Channel Sports on Sunday. I am Ken Ochanago. I tell you, uh, right there in Australia, it was supposed to be number one versus number two. But then, when the Joker Express is on, who can stop him? Djokovic has now won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, making him the best ever in the modern era of the Australian Open champion. And for Nadal, uh, we thought that gap, you know, uh, at 17 to 20, number 18 would have been sweet. I would have said, yes, maybe uh, uh, you have 70 to 80 percent chance of picking the French Open, and that would have narrowed the gap. But Djokovic, the man that was written off, the man that was down to number 20 in ranked 22nd last year, and we're saying he was out of it, came back and three, three slams. Hmm, hmm. I don't know. This man is becoming too dangerous. But then before them, there was that ice on the cake. There was that spice. The princess from the east. The lady, you know, the young lady we thought, you know, was just a flash in the pan. Uh, uh, his, she is meek. She is humble. Uh, she is, I mean, uh, it, the, the calm as cucumber. Cool. I don't know how, whatever, I just learned you to describe uh, uh, Naomi Osaka. But then, what, what Martina Hinges did some years back, you know, she has just repeated. And you also remember that Martina Hinges was named after Martina Navratilova. What a sequence. And I tell you this, there is a shining light. Because after the U.S. Open, she has now won back to back. Martina Hinges, like we said, was the last person to do it, winning the, the, you know, her first Grand Slam and then winning the next Slam. So I tell you, history, history. Every expert you look at uh, the Australian Open, it has been history. So we will we'll take a lot of time. We'll look at it at the Aussie Open today. And we shall also look at some monetary aspect of the successes that came along with the titles you know, that they won. Uh, in England, I tell you at the Talking Soccer now, one man says, I'm here for a short time. But then his record is saying, <clears throat> do I need to apply for this job? The baby-faced assassin played it, won it lost none. And I tell you, it is looking like what you are looking for in Sokoto is right here in your Shokoto. So right, that is in Nigeria our balance, how we say it. Uh, he said, great players don't always make great coaches. But right now, it is not about great players because after playing, there is that job that is open to them. People call it now touch screen punditry. And they are saying it is not the pundit that makes it. Uh, I, I don't want to agree with a lot of them, but hurry, hurry. The one we call Igwe, I tell you this, he had just left the way he came. He couldn't rescue the ship of Monaco. And they are back to square one. The man they sacked is back on the saddle. And then Mikel and Moses, the MM, our leaders, our best players, when we won the, champ when we won the African Cup of Nations in 2013, right there in Ethiopia. Yes, one has gone to Turkey. The other one is back in England. There are lots to look about today. And I tell you, the house is full. Because also, the MPFL is back. But then, there is also an aspect comparing it to the Champions League. While Kaf is telling Ismail, we don't want you no more. The LMC is telling Platy United, yes, you can come closer home. I don't know what this analogy is all about. We have issues here of uh, the referees, mm. you, know, uh, you know, being manhandled in our leagues. And then uh, uh, you saw two different scenarios. Uh, one in CAF, you know, involving, you know, uh, a club from a big footballing African nation yeah. in Egypt. And CAF did not hesitate to say, look, Ismail, you've done this. Please, you are not, we, we cannot condone this in the Committee of, of, of Nations of Football. And he threw them out. And then we now look at, you know, up, 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 Plenty United, you know, manhandling, their, their fans manhandling uh, uh, match officials. They were sent, you know, uh, away to, to Lauren, not, to, not even to, you know, to, and then they say they appeal. And the, the and, uh, LMC said, go back, you know, and see no more. And go to Nasara, where you can just cross, uh, uh, use Keke Marawa, Tatinara, and then you cross over, to go and watch the match by their fans. Okay, uh, Ken, I think uh, it's nice being here. Um, going back to before then, uh, Mikel DMM, uh, you said something about them winning in Ethiopia. That was in South Africa. 
Okay, okay uh, South Africa. First medal yeah, 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 was actually yeah, yeah. in Twenty thirteen, yeah. That why we got our first bronze in seventy six. Yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank now, you having said that, I think uh, we're about to that decision on behalf of the LMC. I don't think the person woke up. Permit me to see on the right side of the page. Because even my kids are seven five watching that clips or someone um, running after the referee, they were they were shocked. In fact, they were dumbfounded. I think that is the right word to use. And uh, umpires all over the world, uh, we know them to be to enjoy a certain kind of immunity, even when they do something wrong. It's taken uh, exactly. as just just like you appeal to God. The result will stand, and um, maybe the umpire will be sanctioned or what have you. But taking resulting to self help is nothing. Is something that should never, under any law, under any crime, be condoned. So, the slap in the wrist or even a massage on the wrist of Plateau United, I think that is the greatest injustice in 2019 uh, that has been done to Nigerian football. It should be. It's not something that should be encouraged, and, and I think it's a way of the LMC trying to. Um, encouraging this because what happened to Ismail? Ismail is in Egypt. Yes. Egypt is the sectariat of, of calves. Yes. So for calves not even minding uh, that kind of uh, informal know, relationship. Know, know me, I know you. Um, exactly. um, yeah. What you call him, man, man, do. man, no man. I yes. think uh, for whatever may, might have been the reason, I don't think. Uh, I even think the IGP should have even stepped in by seeing the, the footage we are watching. That is uh, a breach of public peace, and that is, uh, that is criminality. Criminal, yes. Is, uh, yes, I can't just find the right word to describe that. Okay, what, uh, the the, the, have done is not. It, it, the, the, I mean, uh, so let, let, let us let us come back. Let us let us uh, uh, let us start and see. Uh, the league, the league uh, is back on today. Uh, let us look at the fixtures at the various grounds. You know, we have some people don't call it an abridged league. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a, a, a group A, a group uh, you know, a group B. A group A, we are having a, a, a weekly tourist uh, taking on Sunshine, the, uh, Sunshine Stars. Stars. Ninja Tornadoes, Bendel uh, Insurance, Insurance, Rivers United, MFM, yeah. uh, Lobby Austin, Choir United, Ayimba visiting Rangers in an instant debut, mm. um, Remo Stars, Austin, Castina United. United. Okay, like, can we, we take have, like, the group B? Okay, all right. We have UB Data Stars, yeah. Austin, Atlan, Okuweri, Kala yeah. City of Kaduna against SC Fanyimba, Abia Warriors, Landlord to Gumbi United. Um, National United, uh, Austin, um, Aqua United, why Plateau United in Lafia will be playing <laughs> over to Kano Pillars. Plateau United. Where would they be playing now? Are they playing in Nasarawa now? Yeah, they playing La in Nasarawa now. Lafia, Lafia. Um, uh, Ken, you yes. see, I, as, as, as much as I love um, uh, a lot of the uh, fixtures, I think a, a lot needs to be said about uh, this uh, violence in our league. Yeah. Uh, and looking at the Ismail case, okay, it's just uh, about a fourth week of uh, games, and yeah. we've already had two, two issues, two like main incidents serious, and accidents. Uh, yes. I, I, you see, for me, looking at the Ismail case, I think it's basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, we, can, we, we want to, really, we want, we want to re discuss that particular issue, you know, uh, uh, ex exhaustively. We want to really take a great uh, look at it. So, but right now, let us just look at you know what is happening. I know they are taking the. I think the star matches today. Uh, uh, Ayimba taking on uh, Rangers. Rangers. Mm. Uh, that is that is the battle there. Uh, uh, so that that should be the uh, uh, the top match. Let us look at how they are standing for now. Um, who is there? I think uh, S. Fanny is. They, they are really doing well. Yeah. Uh, uh, this the, this new season. No okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Top MFM top is still um, uh, very uh, much at the top of. Uh, because of their two the home wins. Exactly. Yeah. If they, they play away, we know what happens. <laughs> let's 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 show when they win. They get they're followed by Kwara United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they, they have played uh, four games. Uh, followed by Ayimba with four points. Then Katsina United, United with uh, three points. Uh, uh, they played only just one match. One. Yes. So, so so that 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 is, that is for uh, uh, that is group that is group A. Okay, let us look at uh, Group B. Okay, Atlanta of them um, very beautiful. Exactly. Uh, they, they, they have nine points from four matches, followed by El Kanemi also with nine points. Uh, FC Fine Bar, yes, they've uh, also been doing undefeated. well. Undefeated. I mean, I think they, they won two and drew two, so, so they, are, they are undefeated side. Eight points. Then yeah. uh, play to United, who would uh, now be back playing their home games in Nasarawa, the next home games, with um, five points. 